Have you ever wondered what would happen if matter met its mirror image? Welcome to the enigma that is antimatter. Just like Alice's journey through the looking glass, the world of antimatter is a mirror reflection of the ordinary matter we know. Each particle of antimatter carries the same mass as its matter counterpart, but with an opposite electrical charge. Imagine a world where up is down, left is right, and positive is negative. That's the realm of antimatter. But what happens when matter and antimatter meet? They annihilate each other, disappearing in a flash of energy. This annihilation, while destructive, is also incredibly powerful. The energy released is immense and it's this potential that has scientists fascinated. Antimatter poses both tantalizing possibilities and formidable challenges. It's a paradox, a contradiction, a scientific conundrum. So, the existence of antimatter raises intriguing possibilities and challenges in the scientific world. Creating antimatter is no easy task. It's a process that brings to life the most intricate symphony of science. Picture this. In laboratories across the globe, scientists use particle accelerators to propel particles at nearly the speed of light. This high-speed collision gives birth to matter and antimatter pairs. Yet the process is far from perfect. It's akin to trying to catch a lightning bolt with a butterfly net. The antimatter particles produced are extremely volatile and have a tendency to annihilate almost instantly upon contact with matter. This makes them incredibly difficult to capture and store. Furthermore, the energy needed to drive these particle accelerators is colossal. It's like trying to power a city with a single battery. The technical complexities and energy requirements are currently the two biggest roadblocks in antimatter production. While the creation of antimatter is a marvel in itself, the process is currently limited by its energy requirements and technical complexities. Antimatter is not just a scientific curiosity, it has practical applications too. In fact, it already plays a pivotal role in modern healthcare, particularly in medical diagnostics. Allow me to introduce you to positron emission tomography, or PET scans. These scans utilize a form of antimatter known as positrons. Here's how it works. A small amount of radioactive material is injected into the patient's body, which emits these positrons. When a positron encounters an electron in the body, they annihilate each other, releasing energy in the form of two gamma rays. These rays are detected by the PET scanner, creating detailed images of the body's internal functions. This technology allows doctors to detect diseases such as cancer at an early stage, monitor the progress of treatment, and even observe complex biochemical processes in the brain. Antimatter, thus, already plays a significant role in our healthcare system. Imagine a fuel source more efficient than anything we currently have. Picture, if you will, the energy potential of antimatter. You see, when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, releasing energy in the process. But this isn't just any energy, this is an extraordinarily powerful form of energy, far more potent than the energy produced by conventional fuels. Now, picture harnessing this energy. It's an enticing proposition, isn't it? The energy output from just a tiny amount of antimatter could be immense. And the best part? The energy production is clean. There are no harmful byproducts or emissions, just pure raw energy. The prospect of antimatter energy is not just about power production. It's about a paradigm shift. It's about redefining our understanding of energy, breaking the barriers of conventional methods, and stepping into an era of unprecedented efficiency. Harnessing this energy could revolutionize our energy production systems. Antimatter, however, is not without its challenges. Despite its immense potential, the hurdles associated with antimatter are significant and multifaceted. First, there's the issue of cost. The production of antimatter is an incredibly complex and energy-intensive process, making it one of the most expensive substances on Earth. Currently, it's estimated that creating just one gram of antimatter could cost upwards of $25 billion. That's a hefty price tag. Then, there's the challenge of storage. Antimatter is notoriously difficult to contain. Given its propensity to annihilate upon contact with matter, it requires advanced containment methods to prevent catastrophic reactions. This poses a major technical hurdle that scientists are still grappling with. So while the promise of antimatter is tantalizing, these challenges currently limit the practical applications of antimatter. But who knows what the future may hold. As science and technology advance, we might just find a way to harness this powerful resource. Antimatter has long been a staple of science fiction. It's the stuff of dreams and nightmares, the fuel of starships and the key to devastating weapons. From the pages of novels to the silver screen, antimatter has been portrayed in a myriad of ways. 
In the Star Trek universe, for instance, matter-antimatter reactions are used to propel starships across the vast expanses of space. In Dan Brown's Angels and Demons, a canister of antimatter becomes a ticking time bomb, underscoring the potential dangers of this powerful substance. These portrayals, while often exaggerated, reflect our fascination with the potential of antimatter. They underscore the tantalizing possibilities it presents, from revolutionizing space travel to providing a near-limitless source of energy. While these depictions may take liberties with the science, they reflect the allure of antimatter. The future of antimatter is as exciting as it is uncertain. Around the globe, bright minds are tirelessly working to unravel the enigma that is antimatter. While we've only scratched the surface of this complex field, the potential for future breakthroughs is immense. There's a world of possibilities waiting to be explored, from more efficient production methods to innovative applications. Imagine a future where antimatter production isn't an exorbitant energy-draining process but an achievable, everyday reality. Picture a world where we harness the incredible energy release of matter-antimatter annihilation to power our cities, our vehicles, even our exploration of the cosmos. The journey won't be easy, it will require perseverance, ingenuity, and a willingness to venture into the unknown. But as we've seen time and time again, science has a way of turning the impossible into the achievable. As we continue to explore antimatter who knows what we might discover.